Today's Ask Reddit post. People who have signed an NDA that's now expired, what's the story? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. I worked security for a gated neighborhood of extremely wealthy people, like Fortune 500 CEO, Senator, S, sometimes both, etc. We got to know which cars were authorized without being authorized, because we weren't allowed to stop them, question them, or log them in in any way, because they were coke dealers selling to the elite. Edit. To clarify, when I said state senator, S, I meant senators from the state to the federal senate, not senators of the state to the state senate. Edit 2. I've removed the word state to avoid further confusion. How did you know the coke cars? The resident would call down letting us know they had a guest coming. We'd get a name. Guy would pull up. Give us a fake name. We'd refuse. He'd make a call. The resident would answer and have a small fit that we aren't letting them in. They'd then give us their real name and we let them through. Later that report would be edited and we'd get a directive that that car was considered authorized but no documentation was to be done. Same cars. Same guys. Always the same residents. Always a short visit. The entire crew was either former military or former cops. It didn't take a genius for us to figure out what was going on. Same thing for the minivans that had come in with one guy and several scantily clad women. Leave 20 minutes later minus one woman. Then a cab would come a few hours later for the woman that stayed. It's so sweet of the wealthy people to donate so much coke to so many hookers. And they say we have to tax them more. I'm glad you can finally see things from their point of view. People just don't understand how much they're already helping. The Nokia 7110 will have a scroll wheel. There it is. So glad I could finally talk about it. Also the release wasn't delayed because of problems with the operating system but rather because the entire development team caught a rather bad flu. Probably from me. I'm so sorry sad. I kinda want a smartphone with a scroll wheel on the side of it. I remember that I used to have a HTC Magic that had a ball that you could use to scroll. Back in 2009 to 2010, the first batch of HTC Android phones all had them. The Dream, the Magic and the Hero. My first Android phone was a HTC Desire, the original one. By that time they'd replaced the trackball with a tiny optical trackpad in the same position. I still miss that. So much more precise for selecting text than any phone I've had since. The HTC Desire was amazing. I seriously loved that phone at the time. R.I.P. HTC. Used to be an au pair for a famous couple's children. NDA was there to protect the family. I wasn't allowed to take pictures of the kids on any of my devices. The photos I did take on the provided device were not allowed to include their faces and the rest were just general rules about not sharing their private information. Even to this day I won't sell that information even though the NDA has expired. Probably some of the nicest people I have ever worked for. Are you even allowed to say which famous couple you worked for? After all, there's a lot worse you can say about them than they're the nicest people. Haha. <laughs> but I understand if you'd rather not say. I worked for a mall pretzel stand about 25 years ago and had to sign an NDA about the secret pretzel ingredient. It was baking soda. Pretzel bakers hate this one simple trick. You'll never believe what makes this pretzel so delicious. Number 8 will shock you. My pretzel was fantastic. Emotional. I was a game tester at EA I could not talk about what I saw. I was testing FIFA so nothing new to see though. Did they make it so you can kick the ball still? Sometimes. When it didn't crash. Damn. That's like the best quality a game could have. Should definitely keep competitors from learning that one. I had an artist. He told me he was known all over the world. Have me sign an NDA when I was a young website designer. He wanted a site to promote his new sculpture idea. I recall it was a group of kids holding hands in a circle. It looked okay but not unlike any sculpture you'd see outside a public library. This guy was saying it would lead to world peace and such. The requirements for the website were crazy detailed. Like 40 pages of instruction. 
It had diagrams of how I should use the mouse to make blur effects and similar bullshittery. I remember we were going over his vision after I signed the NDA and vividly thinking oh, this guy is just plain crazy. After 10 minutes I said I had an emergency and had to go and just never talked with him again. I have been a part of a focus group program for over 10 years now. It's mostly opinion chat sessions but there were occasional times where I would test or try out some new product that I'd have to sign an NDA for. You remember when HP started that line of mini laptops? Yup, beta tested those. Some other things now on the market I've tested before release were Gillette's Fusion, Facebook Dating, Xbox Project X Cloud, and yes they pay wonderfully. How do you get into doing this? The one I am a part of is in my state but there are several like Elliot Benson is one for example where representatives from Champion Apparel came to my house. There's also one for the phone but I forget the name. You're a part of, or a part of, defiantly a part. As security chief, I found that my boss, the region security manager, was stealing. At that time, I thought to keep things in the family, imagine the scandal that, in the security branch of a nationwide mobile phone company, one of the people in charge of security was caught doing what he was supposed to prevent. Naive me. So I reported directly to the CSO who, after getting a confession, asked the culprit to resign. After that, he placed his 24 year old niece, or something, family related, in the region management. Then, after two months fired me, a year later, I found out that the first boss was indeed the CSO cousin who ordered his niece to fire me in retaliation. Wisemi knows now to bring those things directly to HR. If you think you can go to HR and not be screwed over just as badly or worse, you're going to have a bad time. HR guy here. Standard diatribe. HR exists to protect the company. When your interests align with the company that's great. When they don't, you're gonna have a bad time. If you see malfeasance that leadership in your organization would legitimately condemn then you're totally justified bringing it to HR. If you see malfeasance that rustles your personal jimmies but seems tacitly accepted by the company, keep your damn mouth shut. You're not telling them something they don't already know. You're not going to shame them into seeing things your way. Either get out, or make a choice to get along with whatever is happening. You're not Captain Planet. You're probably not in a position to take down evil megalomaniacal corporations. Be realistic. 1. Get new job. 2. Wait 6 months. 3. Drop a dime on your former employer using Tor to stay anonymous. Using all the evidence you've gathered. Make sure it can't be linked to you. Be sure to scrub any personal info and only use evidence that is accessible by a large number of people. If you use information that only you or you and a few others have access to, it can be traced back to you. You don't want your current employer to find that your former is suing you. That's a good way to get forced out of your current job or fired outright for disloyalty. May you imagine doing any amount of work for a company you left 6 months ago. At that point I'm way out. Person is stealing and it's not my problem unless this is a personal act of revenge. Give me another month and a half and I'll be free and I can tell you everything. Remind me. There should be a remind me bot. I know this is s but on the off chance it isn't. There is a remind me bot. Think the mods banned it because of users spamming it colon. I did an advert for what was at the time HTC's biggest swing into ultra high end phone technology. I was allowed to hold the phone during filming and a guard put it in a suitcase at all other times. I was not to talk about the phone until it was on sale to the general public. Pretty lame now. But I had tech friends who knew I did the ad grill me about stuff. I wasn't even allowed to say what color it was. Rustic hairpin table legs and shelving brackets, sold on Etsy, are bent with a modified pneumatic wood splitter. I know everyone was dying to know that. I ducking knew it. They've been hiding it all this time. I signed a NDA with EA Games in order to pitch them a game idea that myself and two friends had developed. They turned us down due to there being a similar title already being in production. That was 10 years ago and there's still never been a game in even remotely the same vein as the one we pitched. Frustrating to say the least. 
I was previously not allowed to tell you that the company I used to work for did white label work for BT. And that if you ever have a BT openreach engineer come out to your property, they very rarely actually work for BT themselves. Basically if they have a BT van, and are in fact one job contractors with next to no knowledge of what they're actually repairing. I was also not allowed to tell you that while it's standard practice to have salespeople not take their contacts with them when they move companies, and that my business would enforce that by suing levers who did, they also would not employ salespeople who said they were not allowed, or not willing, to poach their previous clients and contacts from their previous company. Edit. Two openreach engineers have claimed this is not the case. While the numbers may be inaccurate, employees versus contractors, and purely down to my perspective, their illusion that contractors are only used for install tasks and never repairs is false. One job contractors with next to no knowledge of what they're actually repairing. I can definitely confirm this. A few years back I was having major broadband problems. It eventually turned out to be a simple fix at the exchange. A wire had come loose, but prior to having the engineer out who actually did something about it. The two prior engineers were both from Openreach and when they arrived they had no idea my broadband was even a flying until they walked into my flat. Apple is developing an iPod that also allows you to make phone calls. A hey, my Nokia can already do that. From a secondary source, but trustworthy, John Travolta is gay. His partner was sick in the hospital. He came to visit him many times. Whole floor was emptied and everyone in the floor had to sign an NDA. But yeah, those rumors are true. Weird how they started way back then. I figured that as much. I assume he and his wife had a contract beard marriage. Those long standing rumors always turn out to have truth to them. So the frogs really are gay. I used to design and produce custom products. Clients would come to us with an idea and pay for prototypes and then production. I've designed products you see every day, and others you don't see but are part of your daily life. Also many classified military products and projects. I was bound by an NDA to my employer. I am named as inventor in many patents. But due to the nature of my employment the company, S, I worked for own the patents. So not dropping any products we know of, weaponized vibrators. This guy had designed a toilet that would register every time it was pooped in and chime in with encouraging words. This was designed to help potty train kids. I did some IT stuff for a state government, a couple actually, but only one had me sign an NDA. Nothing terribly interesting other than there is so little for tourists to do in the state that they photoshopped people kayaking in the super polluted river that no one would dream kayaking in. Even worse, they listed attractions from the next state over as something tourists could do while visiting them. Super polluted river? Ohio? I didn't expect anyone to actually guess it. But yeah, I'm not even from the area but I've read many stories on reddit about the flammable, sewage infused Cuyahoga. I interviewed for a position at Amazon Web Services a few years back and had to sign an NDA. There wasn't anything too interesting other than realizing just how many Northern Virginia buildings are owned by Oz even before the HQ2 brouhaha started. It's a lot of nondescript buildings all over the place. As an interviewer in Oz, I have no idea what the hell that NDA is supposed to protect. Maybe if you accidentally wandered into the wrong room and someone accidentally left promotional materials to a new service? I guess, we do it all remotely now, and we all work from home. If there's still an NDA, it's to prevent you from telling people about my cat joining the interview. I hired a manager for a professional sports team. Nothing fascinating, just that they were hiring a new manager then one got hired. The most interesting part is this kind of thing works a lot like any other higher level hire. I always assumed it'd work different but it really is just another job. How does this sort of thing work? I am curious to know how companies hire CEOs and the like. Specifically, how does the negotiation phase works? The CEO package, for example, is usually very performance focused with bonuses on bonuses and a massive salary. I've seen how a former CEO is measured in the performance bonuses he gets, which is public knowledge. 
and they're absolutely nothing like the cut and paste contracts position descriptions 99% of the workforce get. Usually a recruiter will help them w that. The chat support people for Apple honestly have no friggin clue on what the next product is. Hell didn't even know there was updates coming until the day of release where the techs get a crash course on it and turned loose. We don't know stop asking threatening bugging and then giving a shitty survey. Was the same when I worked tech support. Surprise. There's an update. The customers usually found out about it before we did. I was a nanny for a billionaire. They weren't a famous family that everyone would know about. But they were certainly famous in NYC and you can easily find tons of information about them online. I wouldn't have been surprised if the mom was asked to be on Real Housewives of NYC but she was too classy and down to earth for that crowd. But their friends were celebrities that most people would know. Any crazy stories? Edit. They could ruin me in one swoop so I deleted my story details. Good move. Billionaires can be the facilitators of your dreams. Or they can make your life a raging sea. Much of the time. That choice is up to you. I worked on the browser for a couple of Nintendo devices back in the day. We had to black out the windows and work in isolation from the rest of the company with a curtain around the door so no one could see the device prototypes when we went in and out. The projects all had COD names so no one else at our company would know what we were working on. We weren't allowed to talk about work at lunch in the canteen either. Still some of the best times of my career. Opera? Yup. It was a sad day when the Wii stopped supporting the browser. My name was in the credits. Worked for an ultra famous, multiple Oscar winning actor. He was developing an espionage movie as a pet project. I was hired as a researcher. Mostly I found him people in the spy business to talk to. I would read everything available on the person. Usually there wasn't much. But I could at least learn everything publicly known about the institution they worked for. I would brief him and together we would conduct the interview with a screenwriter. He wanted the project to proceed in complete secrecy. Which under normal conditions would be impossible. People like meeting movie stars and they can't help talking about it. If we were researching any other arena, word would get out. The cool thing about talking to spies is that they keep secrets for a living. We interviewed a former head of the Mossad. A former head of Shin Bet. The guy who ran the Mujahideen in Afghanistan for the CIA. The guy who ran the Contras in Nicaragua for the CIA. And even a former Mossad agent the Mossad was trying to kill. Not one peep ever became public. Over the years some of those contacts became friends of the movie star. This is unusual. It's hard for movie stars to have friends. Apparently professional spies are good at it. When you are ultra famous. The people you value most are the ones who keep their mouths shut. Robert Redford. Worked at a private low security sick ward years back so obviously had to sign the NDA as they were criminally insane. As in they were put there because they were too crazy for a regular prison. Let me tell you in the private institutes the healthcare team including the nurses and doctors do not really give a shit at all. As long as you're not fighting us it's fine. If you do start fighting you get put on the floor and held so the nurse can come running in with a needle to the ass to calm you down. That's about it. I knew a guy who was a nurse's assistant at one of those facilities. Pretty sure he was hired because he was built like a brick wall. Installed a bunch of flooring at Derrick Gold years back and they made sign an NDA. I think they were afraid I was going to steal the Colby Jack recipe. What is it? Milk and microbes. I was a tester for CD copy protection. They sent us a CD with protection and let us play the game for a couple weeks and some test software to test on our machines to ensure it couldn't be copied. One time we were sent a game. The tests all passed and it was declared secure. But CD copy software from third party allowed all copies to work. And they released some games with this software not realizing that their copy protection sucked. My very first NDA I signed was with Microsoft for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 beta test after many many months of waiting. Signed up right after the announcement. My story's short. I couldn't download it from the shitty Ms. Windows store. Never got to try the beta. 
Every voice query you say into your phone is recorded. Well that's not a surprise. My fave was why does my vagina smell like soy sauce? Did you get an answer? That wasn't my job but I hope she did. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.